Hi, welcome to Vector Bliss. This video is an introduction to dynamic blocks. So before getting into the introduction to dynamic blocks, you should understand what is the difference between a block definition and a block reference or an instance of a block. Normal method of creating a block is let's say this rectangle is there I'm selecting it typing B for block enter then I get this box I will provide a name for this my block then I have this pick point here through which I'm specifying the base point for the block and objects are already selected so I don't have to worry about it I don't want to open it in block editor when I hit OK that is when I am defining a block. In fact, I am telling the computer that the objects what I have selected here plus this base point of the block, all these are certain information which is passed to the database of this drawing. That means the block definition is what I am trying to tell the computer through this window. That is why this window is called block definition. So this information is stored somewhere in the database and computer knows very well that these objects what I have selected plus this base point and all these properties may be the behavior like annotative whether it has to be annotative or scale uniformly or allow exploding. All these things together forms the definition of the block. When I hit OK and now this is a block and if I delete this block still the block definition is very much there with the database of the drawing but I am not seeing the block in my drawing space because I don't have an instance of that block or I don't have a reference block reference of my block so when I use the insert command I will be able to insert it using this dialog box so this is where I select my block and hit OK. When I am placing it here now that I have one instance of that block in my drawing. So when I select this and go to the property of this block it says block reference. It doesn't say block definition. So block definition is nothing but it is like um, how you tell the computer that uh, you know what all objects have to be selected for the block and where is the base point and all this data put together is the definition of the block but when we place an element in the drawing area that becomes an instance of that block or the reference of that block this concept you should understand very well before um, getting into dynamic blocks now let us go to dynamic blocks now let me delete this block I have two blocks here on my screen this one is a normal block and this one is an, an is a dynamic block so what is the difference between a normal block and a dynamic block well dynamic blocks have dynamic properties dynamic properties means uh, changing properties it, the certain properties are there which can change from instance to instance so that is what dynamic property means let us look at it let me just copy this normal block I'm copying this I have this normal block here so I have two instances of this block same way let me copy this dynamic block here and let me just move it out like this I have two instances of this dynamic block and two instances of this normal block now if I make any change to this normal block usually you know what is what is going to happen right I mean this block is also going to change so if I say ed edit block in place and I'm making some changes like maybe I will use a stretch action like this I'm stretching this rectangle then saving it back save changes hit OK now you can see both these instances got updated and so whatever change I am making to one instance it is going to repeat for all the elements all the instance sorry all the instances in the drawing so that is how normal block works 
now let us look at the dynamic block when I select this object here when I select this block here I can see these cyan color grips here this says that this block is a dynamic block so when you select a block and if you see certain cyan color grips you can easily make out that it is a dynamic block so what does it mean if I pull this if I just click you don't have to drag in fact actually you can just click on that grip and release the mouse button then just move the mouse away you can see it is getting stretched and I can click somewhere so it is now stretched and look at that now this instance is not changing these are two instances of the same block but only this instance is getting affected now similar way if I change this I can stretch it to this direction now see these two are the same blocks actually it is hard to believe right because this is against your understanding of normal block so that means changes are happening to the instance not to the block definition that is what the difference between a normal block and dynamic block so I think uh, I gave you a good understanding of dynamic block through this introduction let us see um, how to create dynamic blocks in the next video we will start thank you